Oh man, YouTube, do I got one for y'all today. Today we're going to be spectating my boy, ex-Captain Daddy, on his first 30 bomb game on Warzone 2. So guys, his link is going to be in the description below. Go follow him on Twitch. But guys, I hope y'all enjoy this video. Once again, he knocks out a 30 bomb out of the park. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're dropping in hot. We're going into all miles of our city. And they're going to hit back here at the bank. Look, they already got pain. People coming in. You know, a boy down. The broken glass here usually means somebody probably landed here already. And we're going on the hunt. We see one guy. He's going to take a time. We're going to push him. He went straight to the window. We get the down. Down. Good shit. We're going to back up just a little bit, though. Maybe replate. You know the guy down. He might be pinging his life. So we need to replate. Get ready for the, uh, for the challenge here from his teammates. There's the buddy. Get the get the down again. Get the kill and another down. So we got two downs right now. Now we know there's a lot of people around, so he's gonna be playing it safe. There you go. There comes the guy for the res. Nobody checking. Nobody pinging on that other team. Another guy coming in. And we're gonna immediately turn around and reach out this guy. Look, the way he does notice, turn him out, turn around and re immediately rechallenged. Why? Because the guy is Hard and fast, and the sprint to fire time is so slow here. He was already set, ready to go, finger on the trigger before this guy could ever get his gun up. And that's why he's able to get that nice little team wipe. So we're starting off the bat right now with four kills. We're, we just landed, right? Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get us get us some money. He's already feeling it. He's already feeling it right now. Everybody, everybody in chat filling it with him. So he's here, like I said, just getting ready to go. Getting all the money he can get. It's a good place to get a lot of loot right here. If you are weren't aware of this, this place always has at least $15,000 you can come out of. Now, it has been well known for a while, so expect to be contested if you land here. This will be, this is a hot drop right here. Look at all, all these safes, everything. All right, so now. We buy stage right across here. We're going to go ahead and move around. We got enough. We got $9,600. So we got enough to get leaked one of our loadout guns. Or correct you, get both of our loadout guns. Money's changed. There we go. We got it. Got his Fennec. Got his RPK. The standard meta. If you're wanting to get a high kill game, you know, always good to go with the meta. I know a lot of people are like, oh, meta hunter, whatever. But we're going to go for a high kill game and buy a UAV. So we got it, or didn't buy a UAV, got a UAV out of the box. That is very fortunate for us. This guy pushes. Unfortunately, pillar, we won that fight. That, that guy could have easily got us right there. That guy could have easily got him. But he was fast enough on that trigger, good enough aim that he won that fight. All right, we know there's another group up on the uh, high rise here. So he could have dropped his money, guys. He dropped the money just in case he dies. That way he doesn't die with the seven bands he had on him. We're gonna go ahead and he goes ahead and pushes in. Work up and we're gonna work our way to the top. Now on that UAV, it did show that one guy was still below us somewhere. So both of them weren't up high. So we're somewhere in middle middle range right here. So he sees somebody on the bottom floor there. But unfortunately, they got already booked it. So we're gonna come back over here and gonna go ahead and regroup with the team, right? So once again, guys, if y'all are not following X Captain Daddy, guys, please check out his description below in this video. Amazing, amazing creator, amazing, an amazing player as well. Like I said, this is a 30 bomb gameplay video we're spectating. So, like I said, we have five kills right off the right off the bat. First circle has just now started to close. So that's how you know you're starting a good game. Oh, we get another contact here. See somebody firing from the opposite direction. He gets some hits on him. Immediately use this door as cover. Now, you can wall bang these doors, guys. So if you're the opposite team, don't forget to shoot at these doors. There he is. See the guy kind of tried to push. He puts, his, he puts some shots down. gets the down on the guy. They're not immediately going for the res. If you notice that, they're not immediately going for reses. So you're going to try to get these kills first. Because if your, if your teammate stays still, you got plenty of time to res them. There we go. Now we're up to six kills in this game. You know, get some cash, get the dude's plates. Plates are, are some a uh, commodity. Grab that satchel to stow for somebody else that he could drop for one of his teammates here in a minute. All right, they gotta get they they got they're trying to get their boy back. Teammates making a run for the buy. 
We're going to head back up top to get some high ground right here. High ground is key, guys. Oh, he gets hit. Oh, he gets hit hard. I think he goes down. Get the self-revive. And now you get to immediately double check, double peek, see if anybody's still looking. Pretty sure it came from the top there. So he's going to make his way, maneuver around here. I think you see the guy up there. Now you're going to move over. I say he's going to move over to the far end. I say you want to, don't want to push up the same way he went. He went. There you go. His teammate just live peeing the guy that killed him. Uh, number two went down, so he live peeing though. So we know the guy's at the top. Here come, here we go, baby. Just going to take this far as up. The guy is probably still focused on our team because a lot of people in this game, they get tunnel vision. And they get focused on the multiple people coming in. He probably forgot all about that he downed this dude or didn't realize that he had self rest. Here we go. Here we come up. And the guy just sitting there on the wall like a ding dong. And it's easy kill. That's easy kill. Get a double check. Now we're going to mark the. Now we're going to double check, see where his teammates are at, right? Wasn't the team white when we downed him? All right. They're down there by the buy station. And double check. Look around. Go ahead and finish that guy so he can quit live pinging us. And now we're going to double check and get it, our teammate back here in a minute. And go ahead and see if we can't get that. Do watch out for the cluster mines right here. He gets shot from the left. Gonna try to take out that cluster mine. Apparently, it doesn't get all done because he nearly goes down again right there. So, guys, if you had a cluster mine up there, just be careful of those. Just because you shoot one of those things doesn't mean they all disappear. So, watch watch your step whenever you got you know something like that is around. Now, we knew that teammate was down at the buy station. Going to overlook here. Going to try to see what we got. I'm going to go down to the roof right here and play and play our game. We know this team's down here somewhere. Not 100% sure where they went to, but we know they are here. We have $4,000, so we're going to take the chance to buy our boy back real quick. Get a boy back. Good stuff, good stuff. Double check the corners as you go through buildings. Another th big thing, guys. Don't be running into buildings. Just blindly running. Double check those corners as you come out. All right, so we still got all, all but one of our boys back. Oh, there you go. The guy right there. He sees him. He doesn't shoot yet. He holds his fire, right? Got to get got to blocked by that uh, pole. The guy sees him. Got to get put some shots. Go quick shots and reposition. That's, look at this. Smart move right here. Get a quick shot. Reposition. He only took a little bit of plate damage. Nothing major. But where are where this guy at? Get a pie that pie that corner. Knows how he pied that corner. Didn't hug no wall. You get to try to get that. See if he can't see the dude first. Guy sees him, and he immediately goes up. You gotta put beams on them because the guys see if they see you run away, they're gonna think they got time. But if you automatically come back and reach out, you have a good chance of winning this fight. Like right here, this guy, I don't know what he was doing, jumping off the roof, knowing that you're gonna be floating there, <coughs> makes you very vulnerable uh, for the uh, for the enemy to down you. So try not to jump down like that dude did right there because they're gonna make it easy kills. All right, uh, ocean, just ocean and that uh, captain alive here. Ocean taking some shots from up high. He knew a shot came from up high. Oh, there's a guy right there on him. Got to take some shots. Look at, look at you. Puts a little bit more shot. Now immediately pushes forward. Guy's not expecting that. He gets up on that ledge. Does not expect Captain to be right there because he was, uh, he was already free. Thank you, the captain push back, right? Captain push forward. It's a smart play to do here. Once again, guys, sometimes don't play it right off the bat. You can kind of kept catch up slacking, especially with the time to kill right now. You can catch up slacking and get that easy kill, even if they're full plated. Unfortunately, now we are by ourselves. Captain at the lone man, he we're gonna go for the uh most wanted play right here to try to get our teammates back. Again, checking our corners as we go. Using water as cover to conceal our movement. He get he called himself the most wanted king, so he get to go for it and see what happens. All right, there's the loadout up there with the most wanted. 
Get the easy beams of that guy floating in for the loadout. Guys, once again, if you're coming in for your loadout, do not be floating in. Go in hard, go in heavy at it. And a teammate did make some good call outs there. Hey, there's a guy to your left, which is helpful for our boy right here as he's getting ready to push up here. Get the finish on the dude. He just downed, flying out of the air. Now we're at we're at 10 kills, guys. 10 kills right now, and we're on the second circle closing. We get the most wanted. All right, now, unfortunately for us, we're not only the most wanted, but there is a loadout here as well, so you, you bet it's going to be highly contested, which could work to work for you in your favor because you know if you have a most wanted, the more you loot, more kills you get, takes away time. So you can sit here and actually farm some kills off a loadout and try to get your guys. He heard this guy coming up through the bottom. Easy beams of that Fennec. <coughs> Easy kills. And we already knocked off a minute of time off this thing, off this already. Looting right there. Go ahead and knock some time off. We're at 240 to get our team back here. Going in a cluster. My, a claim, uh, bouncing Betty. Smart play, smart play. If you find one of those on the, in the loot chest, might as well pick it up to throw it down uh, just to give you some peace of mind there. Help out. All right, one then. Going to go, go back outside. Going to go to the top. <coughs> Peeking. Get to trying to get the money out of the bag. Oh, guy coming in again. And it's the, it the same dude. It's the same dude that just did it. Look, guys, if you're coming in, Again, don't float at your loadout. Don't float for that roof if you know somebody's already there. So we're now we're down to a minute and a half. A minute and a half of this most wanted run trying to get the boys back. We're at he's at twelve kills right now. Twelve kills and we're and we hadn't even started the third circle yet. Buy back straight ahead at the buy station in front of him. And so once again, he does know there's a loadout here. So get strategy here. If you know there's a loadout. And you're confident enough in your skills sit here and farm this and help this most wanted contract go down f faster <coughs> excuse me chat there we go now he got his loadout got his loadout we got a one minute left for the boy to come back i'm gonna move chain position because obviously uh the team know we're there where we're at anyway but we're still gonna move over position try to see if we can't find any more loot to lower the uh time frame for our boys to get back. I said, notice how he's constantly moving. He's not holding no wall. He's not holding no edge. He's constantly moving. He got 30 seconds now. His only real danger right now comes from the high right there at Al Mazara City, which, sniper being the way they are, he does have a chance to, to play that out. So if he does get hit from there, he could he react fast enough to get over the wall and get to some cover. But as of right now, this is the safest bet for him to be at. Or he does have the tower to his left. But again, he has a chance to get out. Because the close-range TTK is very, very small. But the long-range TTK, you still have some room to finesse if you need to to get out of situation. So this is a smart move. We got four seconds left. He's all, He knows he got that loadout secured for his teammates. The team is coming back right now. There we go. Team coming back. Loadout ready to go for him. And now we're reset to get back in this this fight with the rest of the rest of the lobby moving over double checking his wall double checking his security here teammates flying back fresh gas mask and now we got some money we got eighty four hundred dollars we could use a uav right here which i know that he's going for all right so we get to go for the uav here but his teammates here get a call out to him that, hey, he get pushed, and they're going to do a great job of uh, live peeing him. You see this guy right here? This guy, just, look at that crouch walking. He, like, he doesn't even fire at him. He can say, I'm going to get this UAV real quick. This guy pushing up because of the call out from his team. That's what Finnick is. Dude, Finnick is stupid nasty. Guys, but he was able to get it. Oh, he goes down. Goes down, gets his UAV off, though. Has his self-revive. Self-revive immediately gets to kind of a little cover area to uh, lay down at. He gets somebody ping. The dude runs around, doesn't know where he's at, and that was the one shady. <coughs> somebody said that was the real Habibi that he just killed right there. So, 
Whether that was or not, I don't know. But it was TTP to one shady. So as we come right here, like I said, he got his money, he got his uh got a gear bag, the satchel he pointed out for his teammates. We're at 14 kills. But guys, in this game, his team is pinging, they're communicating, and they're not talking nonsense over the comms, right? They're during gameplay, they're straight up, hey, they got the left, good call outs, good comms, good live pings. That is what really makes or breaks this game right here. In my opinion, that, that teamwork that his team is doing. They might not be getting a lot of kills, but they are doing an excellent job of giving him call-outs. In the end, real dangerous sitting on top of the building, but he's, as he's looking for it on his map. But he's still trying to stay somewhat uh, somewhat moving. Here we go. So we're going to move back. It looks like our next bet is to move to uh, Almazara City. We got our team back, so we're going to move across the street and go ahead and get early rotate, get to the center circle before we get held by somebody on the roof of the building. Here we go once again. Moving hard, moving strong, staying moving, guys. He got a ping up of where he's going. They're communicating with each other. Hey, this is where we're moving. This is the game plan. Excellent, excellent strategy here. Take the zip. It's again, very dangerous to take the zip in, on the city right here because you never know where somebody might be. But nobody beamed him out of the air. You're going to take the zip again. That's the way up. Nobody looking at the zip line. So good stuff. Uh, did we saw somebody here? Yep, look at this guy. Don't know what that dude's heart scoping. Why are you looking just one direction? Makes it easy to kill. Look at look how he goes and sees now he's looking checking all the corners, check it everywhere, check it everything out, make sure there's not another teammate up there. There's nobody else sneaking around. Satchel, mass, uh plates, galore. So there we go. Fifteen kills, halfway to our thirty bomb. Halfway to our 30 bomb. But notice, guys, he is moving. He is he is constantly communicating. Always check at every corner. And there he pushes just about everything he sees. But he can't push like he used to push in Warzone 1. So he pushed in a different way. But you can still push, still outplay, and you can still outflank. No matter what the bigger creators are saying, right? Look at that. Guy calling him out. He's on the buy. He's on the buy. There's two of them. Get some cracks there. So he knows that there's two of them down there. Now, those guys are going to eventually have to be pushed out anyways. So we we can sit here and wait for them, or we can push down ourselves. But we just know they're over there. Captain says, screw this. I am not waiting. I'm going to go find these clowns. And that's exactly what it does. Sit there. You're going to rotate around. Still taking the building. Calling over. Hey, I got prox chat. So they know they are there somewhere. Can't find them. So we go ahead and go back over here. Again, make sure that guy's not going to peek. Because they heard the parachute drop down. So good chance they might peek out the windows. To see if they can't get you running with your back turned. A car pull it up. And you no, know, these cars are weak for the most part. He has one down, one cracked. Guys running. Tracker is an amazing thing to have. Gets one guy down. His teammate went down. So that's two kills. We're at 17 kills now, chat. We're at 17 kills. And they're giving me one more. Like I said, tracker. Tracker is overpowered. The guy's just running out there in the open, get the down, get the kill. Easy enough. So, well, guys, again, proper perks. Knows what he grabbed. He bought his loadout weapons at the uh, buy station, then grabbed his the certain perks he wanted. Tracker which is a great perk to have in Warzone 2, and it's paying off for him really big right here. <clears throat> now, I know somebody's on the roof, so he could try to maneuver around, making some shots on him. No, he's staying in cover, right? 
notice that he's staying in cover. He's not really getting himself exposed in the open. But he look the, the, again, dope piece. He's constantly looking up there because he knows there's still a guy up there on Almazara City. So he get to keep out looking. This guy gets caught in the open with his pants down, and that's all she wrote for them. Go back to the lobby. Nineteen kills. He make you take care of there. There that boy. He decided to take his peek out right there. There he was again right there on the edge. No real shot to take. And he got a reposition, go plate. Now sits and trying to fight that out. And it looked like uh, our other partner went down. <coughs> or we're all that's left now. Sorry about that. Ain't nobody left. It's us versus the lobby. There's still 11 teams, 30 people left in this lobby. They get a, you get to repeat this guy, repeat him, just see what he's going to do. He's doing that to see if that guy could come in to push at him, and he's going to be floating at him with the parachute. If he is, that could make it easy beams off the, off the rip right there. All right, so now grab some more plates because you, you want to have these plates, especially for the end game. There, you go one guy, there goes the guy flying off. Mount up, put some beams on him. Unfortunately, not able to get the crack. He gets, oh, somebody missed their shot wild. Guy's still on the roof as well. Light pings him. Light pings the shots. Makes it get the dude back off. Get to come back in here again. And uh, take cover and re reassess our situation. All right, now our best bet now is to move up to this roof right here. And that's exactly what. All right, so we get up to the roof right here. There you go, the dude that was on the roof. He's flying down finally. And off the roof. Now we're going to have high ground. We get shot again. Now we're going to get a dive. We're going to dive, get to cover as fast as we can. And that was close for us right there. That was close for the captain. I, I think they're still that same guy is still on the roof. So he going to come out here and repeat. See where the guy's at. See if he jumped out. The guy that was shooting him has not come down yet. He doesn't see him. Oh, there he is right there, running in the middle of the road. Gets it gets able to get him off. We almost get taken down right there. Once again, the long the long shots are easy to outplay easier to outplay than the uh the short range. So he's gonna come up here, get to cake this edge. He has a gas mask. You get the gas mask smartly, you gotta take the chance to replate now while he has it. Alright. Now there's oh this guy right here. Guys, he quit floating. Quit floating. If you're coming down, come down hard. That you're just setting yourself up for failure if you're gonna float like that. Makes it an easy kill for captain there. So now you're gonna take go again. Take high ground. All right, we're not just gonna peek out the door right here, right? We're gonna take our time, take our cover. See the shadow? Yep, somebody's on that roof. Got the door. Repeat. What this guy was doing, I have no idea. He heard us shut the door, and they heard us bust through the door again. But, no, then it, to end it, it is what it is. I should have double-checked it. We get a break right there. We get the knock right there, and we immediately take our chance to go right down into the water and get covered because there's no point in staying up there. Gas is going to be pushing us out, so we got to get down, right? All right, you're going to double-check. You're going to look over the roof. Res already happened, so they got the boy down that they, that they rezzed. Gas is going to push these guys off of this roof, and we know this. So. All we got to do is stay right here. Far as they know, we're still on the other side. So we broke one, down one, and we jumped off. This guy go jumping. Easy kills. This guy get a peek. Get, try to jump off again. Easy kill right there. That's all you got to do. Is, this is about position, guys. Now we're in the final circle in your solo. This is position. He takes some shots. Got his gas mask still. Take it away, though. He's going to take his time, though. He's not panicking. Not panicking at all. Right here, he got it. Gets hit again. Going to throw the smoke down. That, all right, now now it's time to move. His smoke is down. He get to come over here, jump in the water, and use the water for cover. Great, great play of the smoke right there. That's a 200 IQ play uh, using the smoke to get out of that situation. Again, staying underwater. Throw the smoke again. Going to get up in here into this other area so he can kind of have a place to... Uh, reload, replay, reassess the situation. At the edge of circle, gas is pushing. Let me go ahead and restock up on plates. 
All right, there's still five teams left, 12 people. And we're solo right now. Come in. Got knocked on the door a little too early. Guy comes out. They know they get shaked if there's somebody else's grenade if that dude is running, somebody is running from. There you go, one inside. He doesn't chase that guy because there's that dude. He already knew that that dude was running from somebody, right? So he didn't want to run in and chase that guy going into the doorway. Give patience. Again, now there's one way in, one way out. He kind of got to get a little hold right here. He knows somebody's in the building. Circle could have pulled our way. Well, this is one of the lucky factors in this game, guys, right? The RNG, they get to pull our way. Guy throwed down a cluster mine. We set one off on accident. There's still three teams left with eight people. So a team of four, a team of three. There you got to come out of that building. He gets one down, gets two down. I'm going to get the finish. You get teammates caught out the right, gets that, that guy down. Try to go up for the finish here. The freaking ladders. This guy's coming. What he's doing, I don't know. Again, use a water for cover. Water for cover. This guy's coming at him. It, it was a freaking beat down in the water. Yeah, dude was upset. But again, now, it's a 1v1v1 situation right now. There's one guy in the water. One v one v one. Oh no, never mind. It's a one v one now. And the last guy is right there in the water. We got the high ground. We got position. A thirty win game, guys. Absolutely amazing, guys. I hope y'all liked that. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all learned something. And again, guys, go follow my boy X Captain Daddy over on Twitch. He's an absolutely amazing streamer. Again, with the thirty. Guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, learned something new, and as always, guys, don't let the demons win. I love y'all, and I'll see you on the next one.